pathogenesis of fever. In this video, let's see about temperature regulation by hypothalamus, pathogenesis of fever, about hyperpyrexia and hypothermia. Hypothalamus in the brain contains thermoregulatory center. This maintains body temperature despite environmental variations within a narrow range around 37 degrees Celsius between 36.5 degree Celsius to 37.5 degree Celsius. How does hypothalamus do it? It first detects body temperature from temperature of blood surrounding hypothalamus and also it receives impulses from warm and cold receptors present in skin and other deep tissues and then it balances heat production and heat loss in the body maintains body temperature so this 37 degrees celsius is the normal thermoregulatory that is hypothalamic set point so when this hypothalamic set point is increased for whatever reason then body temperature also increases by several additional mechanisms for example, when hypothalamic set point is increased from 37 degree to 39.5 degree Celsius, body temperature also increases to 39.5 degree Celsius by first by vasoconstriction. Here, blood is shunted away from peripheries, decreasing heat loss. If this is not adequate to rise body temperature, then shivering takes place. Here, there is heat production by muscles. In addition to that, there are two more mechanisms, behavioral changes like putting on more clothes. This decrease heat loss and finally non-shivering thermogenesis. That is heat production in the liver. So finally, due to all these mechanisms, body temperature is also increased to 39.5 degrees Celsius. So, this elevation in body temperature due to increase in hypothalamic set point is termed fever, which is defined as rectal temperature, that is, core body temperature more than or equal to 38 degrees Celsius. That is 100.4 degree Fahrenheit. So, how does this hypothalamic set point increase? In other words, what are the causes of fever? Causes could be outside the body, like microorganisms, their toxins or drugs. Or it could these are called exogenous pyrogens or the causes could be from inside the body that is inflammation trauma tissue necrosis antigen antibody complexes or malignancy these causes they activate macrophages, monocytes and other cells and these cells produce cytokines. These cytokines are produced in the systemic circulation. They are called pyrogenic cytokines, interleukins 1 and 6, tumor necrosis factor and interferons. 
but they are in the circulation they cannot easily penetrate blood brain barrier so they act on circumventricular organs where the blood brain barrier is incomplete in turn this activates preoptic area of hypothalamus here prostaglandins that is prostaglandin e2 is synthesized this prostaglandin e2 increases hypothalamic set point fever results and endotoxins from gram negative organisms they can directly act on hypothalamus and increase hypothalamic set point what is hyperpyroxia here temperature is more than 106.7 degree fahrenheit severe infections can result in hyperpyroxia or cns lesions like cns infection or hemorrhage they can cause release of cytokines in the brain and then resulting in increased hypothalamic set point so how do drugs act paracetamol and nsaids they inhibit cyclooxygenase enzyme so that they inhibit the synthesis of prostaglandin e2 and steroids they act at two steps one is they inhibit phospholipase A2 enzyme so that arachidonic acid is not released and cannot be converted into prostaglandin E2. It also inhibits production of cytokines. So when the hypothalamic set point is lowered either due to resolution of illness or due to antipyretics heat loss takes place by vasodilatation and sweating resulting in bringing body temperature back to normal so we have seen that increase in hypothalamic set point causes fever and a hyperpyroxia can body temperature increase without significantly without increasing hypothalamic set point then it is called hyperthermia mechanisms could be could be due to increased heat production or decreased heat loss causes for increased heat production or malignant examples are malignant hyperthermia salicylate poisoning decreased heat loss could be due to ectodermal dysplasia or severe environmental heat exposure so here pyrogens are not involved so there is no response to antipyretics finally little bit about drugs how drugs cause fever they can act as exogenous pyrogens as already seen or they can interfere with heat dissipation or they can increase body metabolism or they can evoke immune response resulting in fever thank you